In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to make five multi shapes hanging infographic slide in PowerPoint, and this is how the slide works. I have added one uh, rectangle here at the top, and when I click, the first option comes here uh, with a kind of a 3D chain with the icon and some detailed text. And on my next click, it will show you a different shape of different colors. You can see here. Then comes the third shape, the fourth and the fifth shape so i have used all different shapes here and if you want you can make it four options also something like this so you can see here this is the four options again with some different colors and uh, different shapes and you can change any shape of as, as per your requirement so to make this slide you need at least office 2013 or the latest version where you have the merge shape you can see a union combine fragment intersect and subtract this particular shape should be available in 2010 also it will be available but you need to enable it and icons which is optionals so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw a small rectangle maybe this much size you can see here and shape outline make it no outline and then I'm going to insert one hollow circle go to basic shapes and select the hollow circle draw the hollow circle over the this particular rectangle and shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can select any good color whichever color later on we can change also and then I'm going to cut one part of the circle only for that i'm going to select this press ctrl d you can see here let me just change the color so you know exactly what i'm trying to do again put it exactly on the top then go to format you can start reducing the you can see here the width and just make sure that it's cover only the half then i'm going to select the hollow circle hold the shift key select the rectangle and under format merge shape and just say subtract so you end up getting a shape something like this now let me just select this rectangle and give a gradient fill so select this right mouse click go to format shape and select the gradient fill so i have used before that's the reason it's appearing here so you have to make sure that the type is first of all linear the direction you can just select any the linear down or linear up not a problem and then you make it three stops by default it will be four so delete one stop so first stop i'm going to select and give some uh, a gray color here and then select the middle stop and give a light gray color and the third stop make it a more gray color so once this is done i'm going to select this and i can go to effects and give some 3d format you can see here go to 3d format top bevel you can select the first one which is round so you end up getting something like this and then you can select the lighting which is special like this and material you can select some dark color so it looks something like this and if you want to give a shadow effect also press ctrl d to duplicate it you can see here let me just remove the bevel and then i'm going to change the color to black and increase the transparency level you can see here and take it here and just send to pack so you can see here it looks like a shadow here and once this is done you can go and press ctrl d to duplicate it hold the shift key reduce the size and then you can just rotate it something like this i'm going to make a kind of a, a chain so just select like this here you can see here and press ctrl d to duplicate it i'm going to bring it here and i'm going to effects you can go to 3d rotation I'm going to select this one which is off axis to stop you can see here let me just zoom in and just put it here in the center you can see something like this and then i'm going to select both of this 
press control G to group it or control D to duplicate it and just add something like this control D you can see here and then again you can select all and press control G also so you can see here the chain is ready and if you want you can give some shadow effect also you can go and give some shadow effect so it looks something like this now i can add any shape at the bottom go to insert shapes i can select a rounded corner you can see here select the rounded corner again depending on your requirement you can see here shape outline make it no outline then i can give the same effect here let me just select this and go to the home tab i'm going to select the format painter and click on this one and you can give some gradient color to this also let me just select the gradient so again the same color appearing here i'm going to give some dark color here go to more colors you can see here i can select some dark color like this and some light colors again go to more colors you can select some light colors and here you can select some what dark color maybe this color so you can do something like this and you can just change the direction you want so whichever way you feel better you can just do this and then once this is done you can add the icons and the detail text so let me just select like this so our first design and if you want you can just add some shadow effect also go to insert shapes select a uh, oval shape draw the oval shape something like this shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to select black color increase the transparency level and go to effects here soft edges just increase the size so you can see here it looks something like this so then i'm going to select all except this one or you can press ctrl a so everything is get selected so hold the shift key and just click this one so that will remove and press ctrl d to duplicate this and bring the one more here and here i'm just going to select this and i want a different shape go to format edit shape change shape you can just select maybe a, a pentagon so it looks something like this you can see here and then you can just change the color according to your requirement i'm going to select press ctrl d So this color again i'm going to go edit shape and maybe i can select maybe this color so whatever color you want you can just select just again press ctrl d to duplicate it bring one more here and if you want a different shape again edit shape and you can just select any color of your choice and i can just bring this up you can see here then it's up to you to just change the color according to your requirement so let me just change the color uh, for one i'm going to select this you can see here and i can just go to select the first top go to more colors i can select some blue color and then let me just click ok then the second stop i'm going to select some lighter blue colors maybe this color and then i'm going to select somewhat blue or this blue whatever so you can see here different different color combinations you can select and again here also you can just select the same blue color and this also i can just select one by one and change the color to blue you can see here i'm just going to select a blue color like this you can just change one by one or you can ungroup also and select all and you can do it for example right mouse click ungroup this you can see here again this is also group let me just ungroup this also and then i can just highlight all and then just change the color to blue so like this you can change the colors of all the other shapes now if you have the icons go to insert if you have this feature but this feature is available only in the latest version of powerpoint like office 365 and 2019 if you don't have this one you can go and search on my youtube channel i have provided more than 500 uh, free icons there or you can just simply add the text here for example i'll just say that add your 
text here center align if you want to increase the size press ctrl D you can add the title also so once this is done I'm going to highlight you can see here using the mouse I'm just going to highlight this press ctrl G to group it this is for the animation purpose so I'm going to group one by one press ctrl G you can see here I'm just using the mouse hold the left arrow key and just select the area and press ctrl G to group it and this also I'm going to group it to animate let me just close the format background you can go to the animations enable the animation pane I'm going to select the first one and I'm going to say fly in fly in it comes from bottom I'm going to change to from left you can see it comes something like this you can double click this one you can make it a bounce and also timings you can make it very fast not a problem with that so it comes something like this and then I'm going to select using the animation painter double click it and then I'm just going to make it something like this you can see here and that's it so all my animation is done if I just play it comes the first one second one third one and fourth one That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.